my so you're trying to be sneaky what's up guys and welcome back to the channel today we're talking about the art of hiding information in plain sight steganography let's take for example an image file which contains millions and millions of pixels steganography will make small modifications to those pixels to create a hiding space for other information and no you don't need to use kali linux you don't need to use steg hide you don't need to use open stego hell you don't even need to use prego you can test this out on your own pc by using command prompt so let's flip this camera around and hide some malware. I mean, let's hide some files. All right, guys. So here you can see I have two images. First step you want to do is to right click on your desktop, create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I called mine secret. So just to show you image one, we'll throw it in virus total. Example two.jpg. Everything seems to be on the up and up. If we right click it, go to properties, you can see that it is 29 kilobytes. If we jump over to the details, you can see it's a JPEG file, nothing crazy going on. Second image, let's throw it into virus total. You can see now this is also a JPEG, but there is obviously some information hiding behind it. If we right click, go to the properties, you can see that this is also a JPEG file. 164 kilobytes. If we go to the details tab, scroll down, you can see that it's a JPEG and 164 kilobytes in size, a little bit suspicious. So how do you go about hiding data inside another image? So first, like I said, create a folder, grab the picture that you wanna hide data in. Let's go ahead and create a text document. We'll call it passwords and pretend that we want to hide a password file inside the image. Let's throw some data inside here. Close out of it, save it. So now we want to add this passwords text document to this image. We need to zip this document. So we'll go over to 7-zip and we're going to add passwords to 7-zip. It's going to create a zip file for us. So over here in command prompt, we're going to copy forward slash B for bits. And we're gonna take the image, which was called secret.jpg plus passwords.zip. And we're gonna create a new image and we're gonna call it secret passwords.jpg. Hit enter. You can see that the file was copied and we now have a new picture called secretpasswords.jpg. Now when you open it, it's just a picture. Open the original, just a picture. So how do we know that there is data hiding behind here? If we go to 7-zip, navigate to the directory where the picture is located. And in this example, we wanna take a look at secretpasswords.jpg, double click on it. And inside you can see that there's a passwords Dot txt file, open it up, and here you can see the data that we stored inside here. And this, my friends, is the easiest way on how you hide data inside an image. So go ahead, test it out, have fun with your images, have fun hiding things inside them. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future epic content, my friends. Consider going over to Patreon and picking up some content. It really helps support the channel. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.